Hi there and uh, welcome back in this new video tutorial for uh, my YouTube channel and uh, in this tutorial I want to continue to talk about uh, eyes inside the soft image. This effects uh, it's very nice you can use also uh, essentially I used uh, one uh, one object for drive uh, this uh, effects on the plane you can also add for example more noise also for all of this plane okay and you can create these effects okay this effects is very similar uh, i did uh, in, in another software like 3dx max on my youtube channel you can find the volume selection modifier in english version i talk more of, about this uh, modifier inside the 3dx max in my youtube channel one is um, inside the uh, um, TXMAX English version, but you can find uh, two lesson in uh, Italian language uh, for create the same effects. Uh, essentially is this one and this one, the other tutorial you can find, but uh, in, in Italian language, sorry. I try to, to do the same uh, uh, with some uh, variation in uh, uh, soft image with ice i want to show you that effects uh, and also i could combine some effects we did uh, in the previous video when i talked the introduction to uh, to ice okay obviously these effects you can do uh, other software like uh, 3 max uh, like maya or like uh, udini or blender uh, if you know the uh, uh, the the theory the logic behind these effects you can do in the same way or similar with another software okay we can start with the new sheen we can start to create uh, our geometry basic geometry we can polygon and we want to create for example the grid okay and we can say for example 40 40 can give uh, a lot of segments Okay, we can use, uh, for example, the sphere, or for example, we can try, yes, we can try with the sphere. It's not a problem, or the disk, we can try with, uh, no. With the disk, uh, we can reduce a little bit. It's not uh, important. Besides, uh, we can move up just a bit. Okay, we can remove. Okay. And now we can uh, select uh, our uh, grid. We can Alt 9 for open the ice tree. We can create the ice tree. And we can also uh, press 8 for explored. We can drag and drop the grid and the disk. Okay. Now we can start and we can create the attribute we want uh, in uh, this situation for uh, for know what kind of attribute we we needed uh, in in this uh, in this situation okay we can start we can setting uh, because we can we want uh, the get data we can use uh, the get data we can use the um, from the grid uh, Point position. Okay, we can also remove the dot. Okay, we can use the point position. We can use the the normal the point normal because uh, the um, the effects uh, we can go to work on the normals. We use the direction of the normal and uh, we want also the um, we need the, another point position of the disk okay we can uh, find the um, the way for create the connection between these two geometry and we want also calculate the distance between these two geometry so we need to have the get closer locator 
okay this is a very uh, general and we can connect that here and the locator is output is the uh, like the source is take the uh, position from the our geometry in this way we can connect that this is was our locator and uh, um, the value it's more important what's the value you want to take from the other geometry we want to take from the other geometry the position so we can take the position and we can plug the position here okay and this is the first step the second step is uh, uh, need to calculation the distance between uh, this point uh, position and this point position so we can see get distance we can have a distance from to goal nickbors object surface and the between this is we want that here we can connect the, our first input is that because we want the distance from here to here and with the our position here okay and this is the our first step we can do now obviously if uh, i want also the uh, output from we can need to set data and from the set data we can connect the, the result here but you can see okay you take the value is take the value because this this um, green light green is the scalar and this is yellow is the vector okay you take the the, the scalar okay and uh, this is uh, connected to our point position okay so I can connect this name here, for example, for point position, and automatically should be take, but is take the the arrow because that is the scalar, and uh, the point position is the vector. Okay. In fact, if I uh, disconnect it, you can see here the value should be the vector. You can convert that in the vector. For example, you can uh, scalar to vector, scalar, no, to vector, okay, and uh, vector to scalar, okay, and try to connect, okay, not connected, but you can try to connect that here. And you can see is take uh, one value but you can also connect that it's a few complex in this case you, you take uh, one value like the y the the i and you can uh, convert uh, you can connect that is directly and it's working the same way or you can connect uh, this uh, in this way maybe is more uh, but yeah I prefer to do that that it's more correct in this case you can let it here you can see is change in very strange because uh, line okay you can also connect the oops and you can have the free uh, dimension okay but it's not what uh, uh, we want in this situation we want uh, a different uh, uh, situation now here so essentially now we can use the multiply we can re remove that we can use for example the multiply because i want to use the multiply and the value like scalar okay we can plug this here Okay, that and that, and now I plug one, so we can, oh, for now, zero, okay, and then why, I, I want to show you why I apply that now here, okay, and here we have, uh, we need also the multiply by the scalar, another multi kind of multiply, because uh, I want to connect the value, this is the our value we can have here, the scalar, 
but I need to assign, for example, the duration. And the duration is the position. Okay. And then we need to add to the direction. So I can need to create the add. And now I want to add the normal direction here. Okay. With the scale. Here. Essentially, here what I did. I take the point position from this point position. I take the position from this object. I get the distance, so I create the distance uh, like the segment from A to B. I use the multiply, in this case it's zero, so it, the, the result is zero. And multiply by scale, so I have this distance is multiply again with the uh, point position and i add this uh, value i can have here in uh, to my normal okay i add to my normal and then i want to set this value here and this value is set like a position so it's working on the position and we can see now if i did all correct i can connect this here you can see oops is disappeared perfect so obviously is disappeared because here we have we can try we have zero five plus one you can see we have the strange effects on that okay uh, maybe we can try, yes, we can try like the example I showed you before. Why not use uh, the geometry like the sphere? Okay, I want to show you also the another big uh, and cool effects of uh, uh, the iced, the system of procedural system. You can use the expanded, you can drag drop here, you can connect that here. And it's working the same way. We can delete, for example, the disk. Or we can keep the disk here. It's not a problem. Okay. And we can see. It's working. I can. Select the sphere. And move it. You can see I have the strange effects here, okay? But it's not what uh, we want. We want is create like uh, a mountain is moved around when I move my uh, geometry, is not uh, change the sides uh, of my elements, okay? In this case, I want is a difference effects. So for create difference effects uh, here we can okay pause we can check everything we can go here we can have the point norm oops the point normals the points uh, okay 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 we can have here the points points position yes it's okay the big width plus between multiply the scale here the set fit a point position okay. and that should be okay right now we can try to uh, rescale our effects Here, the rescale is like the fit range in uh, Houdini. Essentially, if you have uh, the range very high, you can reduce uh, or vice versa. You can just click here, for example, this uh, we can try to give uh, less uh, 
okay and you can say i want uh, the new target for the star is one and the last target is zero okay and we can go here we can see what's happened okay something you can multiply for example four you can see is a change for example the um, scale i want to see if i connected the, ah okay 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 maybe i connected the, the wrong because uh, i connected the, the point position i connected the normal okay i need to connect the the add to the point okay point position and the normal should be connected to our multiply base scale i inverted that for example okay yeah it's too big okay but now you can see also is working on all geometry okay it's not to create uh, the the mountain you can see here okay if i multiply more for example two you can see four you can see it's working on all geometry i also with the scale if i bypass the scale you can see it's working very strange but i have applied the scale you have this i want to apply the curve for check and for drive better this uh, deformation so i can go here and say f curve and i can connect it here before the multiply and you can see now it's working like we want essentially it's create the our mountain in here okay obviously it's too much you can just uh, write less and you can working with the curve with double click you have this curve if i click on this point for example i can change uh, how it work uh, on our radius here is like the soft selection essentially you can see it's create less uh, you can also add the points for example i say i can add the points okay Or create the another effects you can say okay can create like the ripple here okay and when you move your uh, sphere you can see it's working better okay this is should be also the object is running under the ground or under the carpet for example you can try also we can switch we can see what's happened okay now it's working also with uh, the, our disk it's more flexible system we can add the difference effects also we can add for example also the turbulence on only on this part for example we can say okay turbulence around the value we can uh, before in the previous uh, lesson the first lesson you can find on my youtube channel i created the custom turbulence noise you can do the same here or you can uh, check how is work that element essentially i can get the position here from the, uh, the value base value i can use the multiply also yeah i can use the multiply by scalar and i can get the scalar this value here this value here and essentially i can uh, now connect the, for example this value to my uh, deformation 
for connected this uh, value to my deformation i can connect it uh, here for example i can see what's happening if i add here i have these effects or i can add for example here okay i don't like that See one. Okay, and you can working also on the turbulence. You can have here this effect. You can see when you move, you have uh, the noise applied also on these effects. Uh, the same if you get for example the sphere the sphere maybe is better for see that uh, for see that uh, uh, situation because you can see it's working better you can also like uh, the example i can show you before you can also connect it, you can also create another turbulence uh, with also I have here the vector for check the vector but uh, the turbulence is connected to the point normal the point normal, the multiply and add to the uh, position you can have here okay and you can also see when you move it, uh, our geometry you can our goal is move it, uh, also the geometry and uh, also this geometry have uh, the noise applied you can also maybe animate oops you can also maybe you can go here if you check animated uh, yes we can see what's happened if i press play that it's uh, more casted okay I want less okay for show you better you can also take this and move it you can see with the animated uh, also is uh, it's very nice you can you can also simulate if you want the simulation of uh, the water for example this is should be the the ocean and maybe this should be the the boat uh, or is uh, moved uh, around uh, and is create these effects on the water effects without any simulation where maybe it's not needed okay you can do that uh, also in the other software you can acknowledge uh, now the logic uh, the theoric is behind these effects you can also replicate it in another software with the uh, same logic okay if you want there is also the file and you can download and check the file okay bye